of these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what's the curse? I can't hear you. Come closer. What's the curse, my brother? Teach us. What's the curse? Read up. Yeah. 
Hey! Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. So the Bible says we got to serve our enemies. Read, which the Lord shall send against thee. Our God sent these enemies against us because we disobeyed them. This is the Father chastening his children for disobedience. Read. And hunger and in thirst. So, when we want something to eat, who provides the food in this nation? Who gives us jobs? Right. Where do we get our water from? Bring it out. Why do these own these water companies? Right, right. What people does this? Read. And in making this. When you want clothes, you go to Walmart. Who owns Walmart? Please. Who owns JC Penny? Bring it out. Read. And in what of all these? So when you're born, you gotta get what? You gotta get out. You gotta get a birth certificate. From who? From what nation? When you die, who do you got to get a death certificate a license, a car, a loan, read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he said he's going to put a yoke of iron on your neck. When you watch these movies, like Django, 12 years a slave, who has yokes of iron on their neck? Who shackled down in the cotton field? Bring it up. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Now look at our nation right now. Cursed in the city, destroyed as a people. Don't know who your God is. Don't have no unity amongst each other. Bring it out. Brothers is killing each other. Right. Women are killing right. their own children. Right. The Lord shall bring a nation against me from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. So it's telling you that a nation was going to come from the other side of the world, as swift as the eagle. We don't have a sign, huh? We don't have a sign. America prides itself in the eagle. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We didn't speak English. We didn't speak Spanish. We didn't speak French. But these are the people that conquer us. Read. A nation of fierce country. We shall not regard the pressure of the old, nor so fight to the young. This is what we scream. No justice, no peace. Brother right here. Brother right here with the ponytail. Did you know you're an Israelite? Go speak to me right quick. Did you know you're an Israelite? The greatest thing on this earth. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Because we don't think we're great. We don't think we're the greatest thing on the earth. We got to prove it out the scriptures that the blacks, Hispanics, we're the greatest on this earth. Hey. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Yeah. For thou art a holy people unto black the Lord thy God. Black man, do you believe you're a holy person? Black woman, sister, do you believe that you're holy? That you're chosen amongst God? Right. Read. That's right. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. God chose you. He said you're special. He said you're his children. He made you in his glory. Read. To be a special people. You're special. That's why everybody want to be like you. Want to sound like you. Want to dress like you. Want to play sports like you. Read. Above all people. They are above everybody. Ain't no destiny Hamite above you. No African above you. You're not African American. You're not American. Read. Above all people that are put the face of the earth. We're above all these people on this earth. Read. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Because God said that he was going to send a nation, a fierce nation. He said he was going to send a fierce nation against us. And this is what they did when they got us on them slave ships. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God said he was going to bring us to Egypt. Who knows the history about the Israelites in Egypt? Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Because it was only us in the, uh, in the wilderness. It was only us that Moses was talking to when we came out of Egypt. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the entire book of Deuteronomy on board. He's talking to the Israelites. That's and right. this is what he said to them. Go back to uh, uh, Exodus. Go to Exodus 20. Let's define what Egypt is. He 
because we're not in Egypt today. We could have walked there. It didn't take ships to get there. Two, Four. three. Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Oh, yeah. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So, by the hand of Moses, he led us out of the wilderness. Four. And this is what he said when he led us out. Read. Out of the house of bondage. He called Egypt the house of bondage. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said he's going to bring us into the house of bondage again. This is what America is. America is our house of bondage. Yeah. We're self. And he said he was going to do it by ship. How did your ancestors get here? How did your ancestors get here? How did they get here, sir? Bring it up. You ain't got nothing to do. Right. You ain't got nowhere to go. Bring it up. Converse with us. This is for you. Right. Bring me out here for you. Right. I can't hear you, brother. You saying it, but I can't hear you. Say it louder. I'll come closer. Read. By the way, Ralph, I speak unto thee. So just like the scriptures are saying, how we're gonna go into this captivity. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We weren't supposed to go into slavery no more. We were supposed to be in our homeland. What? Priests and kings right, is what right. we should be. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when we got up those ships, we were sold unto our enemies. Read. For bond men and bond women. So guess what, black woman? You are right there with us. Right. Black man, you are right there with the sisters. Right. So why are we so divided now? Give me some. You scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.